The battery's about to dead, so you people about to be ass out. Yeah. This is all we're doing right here. We're taking this fucking head off. Right. Got two bolts here. It's funny. Two books, excuse me. And all the books are different and shit, and they say shit. One called the that oil line. They're saying uh, disconnect the oil line. The rear of the cylinder head, and that's where it's connected to, which this book is correct in that aspect. For this book, you see how it says disconnect the oil feed pipe to the rocker box. And this one says, uh, alright, so now we got the shaft out here. So basically the whole reason why you got to take just the front two rockers, rocker arms, and the shaft out is so you can get at this nut. And this nut back here, so stupid wires in the way. And then there's one down in there where the push rod tubes are in the way. So you, you get that front assembly off, rocker shaft assembly. You can get at those three bolts. These two, the shaft doesn't go over the top two, so they don't worry about that. These two, these two, there's five. And then you hit these two, all right? And the head will come right off. All right, Josh is out of here, folks. We're just gonna adjust his headlight off the wall. <laughs> What'd you forget? I don't see it. Here. Get out of the way. It's the pooper, bro. Great, not bad, it's good. Nah. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, looks like getting a jump from Jen. Recording. Okay. Um, so, this is the first BSC that I've broken down since I was like 13 or something. My dad used to ride crumbs and BSA with all kinds of choppers. I used to help him, but I wanted to skateboard, so it's like, whatever, I don't remember doing none of this. Uh, I've been riding Harleys the last 10, 15 years, so whatever. This thing, I'm sure there's some sort of specialty tool to get this center center one out. And I don't have it. I tried to get a swivel and stuff in there, so I ended up taking this rear rocker arm and shaft and stuff off. So I just get these four, five bolts, and then these four, everything's loose, so I'm just taking off these last these last bolts here and we're going to pull the head and we're going to see what we got down there in the, the jug see if these cylinder walls have got silver poopoo -poo stains like skid marks up the sides of them you know hopefully we don't have to get a whole new one of the rings you know new home foreign home but we'll see something's wrong valves uh, rings I didn't do a leak down test because I plan on rebuilding it anyway so whatever but you can do a leak down test and it'll, it'll tell you you know if you leak past air comes past your valves you know then you got bad valves they go past your rings you know etc etc you can tell by putting your hand over the exhaust over the car you uh, the harder the way it's like you know your tummy putting down your, your lower end bottom ends all stuff like that air coming out you know it's pretty much toast this beezer I've talked to Ken Armand, Bob, you know, Raver and Richard, those guys were all my dad's friends, you know, just ride with him, Bob, you know, and uh, I mentioned the seal, they got this, a few things, little tricks to this bike, they're always common, so uh, I plan on rebuilding it anyway, so 
we're just gonna find out as we go. 